What's up guys? Let's talk about something that a lot of these people in the personal development industry or personal development self-improvement gig suffer from and that's information paralysis, right? Where they hoard too much information, go to too many seminars, watch too many DVDs, become gurus but never actually do anything. If you're suffering from this, you need to understand one thing that knowledge is not power like what you have come to believe. Knowledge is only potential power. Now let's illustrate this with um, this example of a pendulum and energy, right? This is the metaphor we're going to be using. If you remember your physics class, a pendulum in this position will only have potential energy. It's got potential energy, right? The energy is not being used yet. It's there, but it's not being used yet. It's kind of stored. But when you release the pendulum and it starts moving, that potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy, moving energy. So that's the same thing with knowledge. Knowledge can be the equivalent of potential energy. It's there, but it's not being used. It's, it, it's like what Peter Sage always says, knowing and not doing is as good as not knowing. So what really matters is being able to apply that potential energy into kinetic energy, into motion, into taking action, into getting the ball moving, ball rolling. Once you do, you're able to do this, that's when you'll really see the results of your labor. See, a lot of people are always saying that these guys on the internet that give you a lot of knowledge like Ty Lopez is the big one that comes up are uh, scam artists or frauds because they are taking your money and they're not really teaching you how to be rich well, what you have to understand is what guys like Ty Lopez are doing is they're giving you the, giving you the required potential energy required knowledge foundation they're giving foundational knowledge in order for you to make the decision and ultimately take the necessary action to get things moving no one's going to spoon feed you through life. No one's going to give you the step-by-step -step way of getting things done because everything is different. The blueprint for one guy is going to be different for another guy because the enormous amounts of variables that are experienced through everyday life. Everyone has a different life. There's going to be different situations. You need to take your own action given the potential energy. All right? So that's the first thing. Okay, the second thing, now that we've established the role of knowledge and of reading books and stuff like that, is expanding your depth of field, right? See, a lot of people only draw from one field. I'm sure you've heard of the man with the hammer syndrome, where if you're a man with a hammer, every problem appears to be a nail. What reading does is it allows you to draw from different fields that you might not have been able to draw from personally. For example, Instead of you going through the motions and learning every single thing that Sigmund Freud learned, you just read civilizations and his discontents and get some knowledge about his philosophy. Instead of being an emperor in Rome, you can read Marcus Aurelius's meditations. Maybe instead of being a professional boxer, you could read, you know, Undisputed Truth by Mike Tyson. There's all these different places you can draw information from and each one paints a bigger picture. A lot of people are stuck in this single myopic view of the world. They think that the way they see things is the way it is. What you have to understand is a complex system, it's dynamic. You're not going to be able to experience everything, but the best approach you can have is drawing from different areas, kind of like Bruce Lee, and taking what's useful, disregarding what's useless, and applying that to your situation. So when, that, when a new problem comes up, now you don't only have a hammer to smash it with. Perhaps you have the wise words of Ralph Waldo Emerson to guide you through it. There's different things that you can do. Uh, that's what I'm trying to show to you guys here. There's options, options. Don't be limited by ignorance. Broaden your horizon. Reading a book is not just for nerds and geeky students. This is what actualized people do. They do this all the time. I read personally maybe an hour a day, average, right? Whether that be audio books actually reading hour a day and I'm telling you right now the difference it makes in your life is enormous applied applying that you actually use the information and get the ball rolling as we said before you don't want to suffer from information paralysis still so it's kind of paradoxical you want to read you want to get this knowledge but you don't want to get so much that you don't do anything just understand the balance understand the right balances everything's about balance all right anyway I hope you guys Got some value out of this video. If you liked it, make sure you press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.
Just do it!